What is up my friends, MJ Kumzo7 here, and welcome back to another video, and today I got for you guys 10 games that I will probably get for the Nintendo Switch. Now, remember, I might not get these games, and if I do get these games, I might not do a video on them or a Let's Play on them. So, be sure to keep that in mind when you think about that, because even if, even if I do get the game, which might be even a high chance for some of these games on this list, it was actually really hard to find some of the games, find 10 games. So... I hope you guys enjoy this video, and remember, keep that all in mind, because I might not do a video on it, and I might not even get the game at all, so just keep that in mind while you watch this video. Without further ado, let's get it started. This, of course, is going to be on the list, because it has to be. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is probably going to be a console seller, and for a while it's going to be just... The Nintendo Switch is going to be, for a while, a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild console. It's just going to be that because as much as I love my 1-2 Switch, Just Dance, Skylanders, Imaginators, and whatever the crap the uh, final game is, I forgot. <laughs> That's not enough to sell this console, but Zelda is and is going to be a console seller. And of course it looks awesome. And if it looks awesome, then you know I'm going to get it. And... Derek, you've convinced me, dang it. <laughs> but, I mean, like, seriously, I'm excited to ride horses. Sorry. I'ma be honest, I did not know that there was a Splatoon 2 coming out until my boy Keegan told me, you know what, Kai, you should get Splatoon 2 when, I come, when it comes out. And I was just like, Keegan, you gotta tell me about these things. <laughs> So I'm getting Splatoon 2, no brainer here, these first four that we are listing as well are already ordered or pre-ordered as we're speaking or watching this. This, Splat Splatoon 2, when I first got Splatoon, I had mixed emotions about it. I, well like, I really, I liked it at first, but then I didn't realize that, I mean like, I sucked at it. I didn't like the... Um, GUI, um, like, controls, I didn't like that, I didn't like how if we moved the controller, your screen moved along with it, I didn't like that, and the Wii U gamepad is not meant for a shooter, but I think they pulled it off really well, and of course Nintendo Switch is gonna have a way better controller for shooters, so I mean, that's a plus for it there, but Splatoon 2, I had, I had plenty of mixed emotions about Splatoon, and now... I know I'm getting it. I am very glad. One of the, my favorite things about this, interestingly enough, I like that we can have different hairstyles. Tell me if that's weird or not, but I like that. That's one of my favorite parts about this game. Um, and one of the things they're adding on from the original Splatoon is that you can customize your hair. Again, I'm sorry. As you listen to me speak right now, my sister Mac is playing her Mario Kart 8 right now as we speak, or as I speak. Now, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was easily a, oh yeah, I am getting this, baby. Because, if you guys didn't know, the Wii U sold 13 million units, and Mario Kart 8 sold 8 million copies. Which is incredible. That is crazy. Because more than half of the people who owned a Wii U, if you owned a Wii U, there was a good chance that you had Mario Kart 8 along with it. Because, well, you, Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 8 sold 8 million copy, Mario Kart 8 sold 8 million copy, I just realized that, ow, terrible joke in the end. Why does this keep happening, I'm sorry. ARMS is going to be one of those games that's going to be like Wii Sports Resort. Not really, though. It's going to be like one of those games that you're like, you stand. It's like Just Dance, but way better. <laughs> now, ARMS is going to be, I love fighting. I love throwing fast punches. I love that. I love the idea of that. I love doing stuff like that. Never got in a fight yet, but... <laughs> I am excited for this game when it comes out in spring, and it's already pre-ordered. As we said, the first four games on this list are 
already ordered or pre-ordered. So you know I'll be getting them already. Um, ARMS, I am super excited for the fast-paced action and cartoon comic mischief that's going to go on in this game. And I definitely, I hope I will be able to do a video on this game because it's a little technical. It's going to be a little weird. And I am excited. I hope you guys are excited because I, I am pretty, I am pretty darn pumped for this game. And I hope you don't, this is a dumb joke. Now let me tell you when I say that I have a Super Mario 3D Land in my hands as we speak, and then I tell you that I've only defeated three levels on this exact copy, and that it was a total waste of money for me, that comes a surprise when I say I want a Super Mario Odyssey. Now let me tell you, the, his, the hitter for me is that Mario is performing in places outside of the Mushroom Kingdom. And in the cities with real people that are ten feet tall, Game Theory got me exposed. Ten feet tall, people tall as Wario. Um, we're gonna go in this weird desert, desert forest, weird pixelate blocky cookie places. There's tons of places we can explore. And Bowser, his new outfit, oh my gosh, that was ten out of ten. Slow clap, Keegan. Keegan, if you're watching this. Slow clap move with me, with me, okay? Three, two, one. I'm sorry. I never played Skyrim. I've never played Skyrim. I saw a couple episodes. I saw Ibalistic Squid do a couple episodes of it, and then I just forgot the series. But I was pumped when I heard that this game was going to be released for the Switch. Um, it's Skyrim on the go, and that is really cool, because I need a game that's going to help me on my airplanes. <laughs> that's really something I've been thinking about on this console, is I need games that'll get me through an airplane, because I hate airplanes. Not that they're terrifying, and you're flying through the sky with nowhere else to go, but, like, the boredom. You're doing nothing. You're sitting there for about a couple hours. If you're flying from China to, or United States to China, that's, like, around three to four dang days. That is a lot of time. Sitting still. Oh, man. I mean, I guess you could get it up and go to the bathroom, but that's not enough. That's not enough. So I need something to get me through it. An Elder of Scrolls, that could get me through it. Even though this battery sucks, I'll still do it. Why do I keep doing this? I'm sorry. Cut it out, you two! Cut it out together! Oh, are we going? Oh. Snipper clips! I had no idea what this game was. I still don't. I still don't. But it looks really interesting, and I really like the idea that you can either you can use the Joy Cons as one pair, like one singular controller, or you can use them as two different controllers for two different people. Which is what Snipper Clips. That's what this game focuses about: is using individual Joy Cons for for one person. Now I think this game is pretty much meant to be a two-player. I know you can, and I know you probably will do uh, one player because you have no friends. Yeah, that's right. I re I know what's going on. But it's also, it's easily just a game that was meant to be two player. Probably like the Wii Sports Resort game. That game is way better experience two player as many other games. So this game especially definitely takes the cake with that, which is what I like. So cut it out, you two. Why do we keep ending like this? I suck at Street Fighter! Why do I put this game on this list? Because I was running out of games. The only thing that really interests me in this game is the first person mode that I think I don't even know if that's true or not. Please tell me if it is, because that looks really cool. I suck at Street Fighter, and I probably still will be, but first person mode looks like it'll be a little easier for me. And I will probably never dip into any other thing if I get this game. But the thing about Street Fighter Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, is 
I just like the look of it. Even though it's pixelated, it's really, really well made. And it looks very amazing, actually. It looks fantastic. And so I want to get that game, maybe, maybe. I can't find a joke, so I'm sorry. No, no, how do I end up on this list? Get out of here! One, two, switch! Oh, we're rolling still. Okay, one, two, switch is going to be a fun mini game that I will probably be guilted into to buying it by some of my friends because, like, I need a game. I need more games. This game, it looks pretty fun from a technical perspective because it was, it's pretty much the tech demo of the Nintendo Switch. Um, mostly because of, like, the way, because of, like, the dual shooter out cowboy western things, you could probably feel, like, a gun in your hands in some ways. You can feel many things. You can feel udders when you milk the cow. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, this was awkward. I don't even know why we're still rolling. Why are we rolling? Help! Why, why are we still rolling? No, turn turn it off! Turn it off! Who's filming this? So guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you guys all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys all liked my 10 games, or 9 games, that I will probably get from the Nintendo Switch. How'd that game get on that? Just dance, where- It's gonna find me. Okay guys, I gotta go. Bye!